Mint Studio can turn various designs into stamp images, including both vector art and color or gradient fill designs. You can open or import Silhouette Studio files, Ping, JPEG, BMP, GIF, and TIFF file types. Opening Silhouette Studio files is great because if you have a library full of designs in Silhouette Studio, you can open and save a design in Silhouette Studio and can also open that saved file in Mint Studio. This preserves the vector properties of the design so you can break it apart and otherwise manipulate it in Mint Studio. If you open the same design from your library in Mint Studio, you're working with the image as you see it in your library thumbnail. Mint Studio keeps things simple, so it's easy to use all these image types. Simply apply a filter and adjust the options to make sure the design shows the way you want before sending it to the Mint machine. All the image types I mentioned before, such as JPEG and Ping, work the same way. I'll open a ping file I've purchased, see how it looks in filters, and it's ready. You can even open your own artwork or hand lettering. This is my lettering I've scanned and saved as a JPEG. After resizing, I'll check it in filters, and it's ready to become a stamp as well. Note that you can open a design either with the file options above, or drag and drop into Mint Studio from the folder where it's located on your computer but it may not import at the same size. To quickly resize an image, select it and click on this Fit to Stamp icon at the bottom. Then you can further resize it with the corner handles if necessary. We'll cover filters in another video. In addition to all these file types that can be opened or imported, Mint Studio can also access any font installed on your computer. I hope you can see how easy it is to turn a wide variety of file types into a stamp in Mint Studio. Thanks for watching.